wonder why they make the hobos fish in a separate place than the general population. That doesn't really seem fair. How clear this water is too. We're gonna go snorkeling here in a couple months, I'm sure. Okay, more cars to pass. Let's talk about the good food, the unexpectedly good food, like... You guys have had sushi before, I'm sure. But I don't think many of you have actually had, like, legit, like, hand-pressed, fresh-ass sushi. Ass sushi. So basically, this the city is basically called Hobo Hobo City. <laughs> Hobo City, huh? Looks like they're doing pretty well for themselves for being hobos. So basically, just let, let me let me tell you, like I came here, and I the bar was set very very low. Oh, my nose. And my wife was smart she didn't take me to like the really good restaurants like right off the bat she just she took me to some like shitty just like cheap cheap places and that was really good like there's a place next to our house and the ramen is the first time i had it i was like oh my god this is what ramen is this is you know because i was used to like top ramen like ramen packets i was like wow this is this is it this is real ramen this is the best and uh, and it was, I mean, like, I thought, I thought it could not be beat. And then eventually we went to, like, a legit ramen place with just, like, po chunks of pork, like, on the top. Just, like, this, like, fatty pork meat right on top. And it was so good. And, like, the broth was nice and thick. And after I ate there, I, you know, it tasted to me just as good as the, as the cheap stuff. But the first time I went back to the cheap place... I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, why is it so thin? Why? They like, like, there's no taste. Where's the taste? Like, so like, I got, like, I spoiled myself. Like, if, if you're going to come here, work your way up. Because if, 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 just trust me, don't, don't get off the plane and order like the best, most expensive, like professional meal that you can. Start from the way, start from your bottom because that, that, that shitty place tasted just as good to me as the really fancy place but only the first time that I went after I went after I went back to the shitty place after going to the good place the taste was completely good but different I didn't enjoy it at all anymore same thing with the sushi they got the cheap sushi restaurants over here it's basically a dollar for two pieces of sushi and please let me pass please let me pass Please let me pass. Yeah, so they got they got the cheap the cheap sushi restaurants over here. And I mean it was good. I was like, oh man, this is so good and it's so cheap, and I was just eating it and I was like, oh like it like like my the taste buds my taste buds were like having an orgy with the with the food that was in my mouth. It was so good. And then my wife on my birthday one night she took me to like a really nice place. It probably cost for like 150 bucks for both of us to go there for dinner it was really good everything was really fresh it was like ooh. you know that song my love is like uh like that's how that sushi was sushi sushi It was so good. Uh, and I, I and I don't know how to explain. I don't I, I don't know how to explain the flavor to you, but you're just gonna have to just trust me. Work work your way up. Next thing that I didn't that I thought was gonna taste like garbage and was probably definitely one of my favorite foods now is uh, shabu shabu. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but if I describe it to you, it's not gonna sound good. It's there's like some broth and some vegetables in a pot and the water is really warm and you take some raw beef and oh and you, you, 
take your chopsticks and you kind of wave it around in the hot water and it be maybe for like five ten seconds and the and the beef cooks and he just has like this boiled beef like I heard that, like, you, what, you guys, you guys boil your beef, like, that's how you eat your beef, you don't put it on a grill and, you know, like, flex your muscles while you're doing the barbecue, and then, you know, like, rub barbecue sauce all over your nipples, and then you eat it, the, no, it's like, no, they're like, no, we, we, we just boil it, we just put it in the pot, and we just gotta shake it around, I was like, nah, nah, I don't want that, and then I had it, and it was like, the meat over here is so, so good. Okay, yeah, just stop in the middle of the road. That's cool. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, so I tried it and it's just like, the, it's like the meat is so fatty that it just like melts in your mouth. There's so much flavor in it. Boiled, I mean like I, uh, yeah, it's good. Just. Shabu Shabu is basically just like boiled meat and vegetables, but it's just like, oh god. Your Shabu's like, oh. Um, as far as like actual steak goes, you're gonna be disappointed with the size. A little tiny steak, probably like a hundred, maybe like 200 grams. That's a big steak here. 200 grams is a pretty big steak. Probably gonna find like 150, 175. A nice cut. I'm not talking like Japanese, like Kobe beef grade Wagyu. It's gonna cost you about like 75 bucks. Wow. But it is delish. But you're not gonna, but once you start eating it, you're gonna, you're gonna be happy that it's not so big because I, like with a big American or Australian cut of beef, I can eat 450 grams some mashed potatoes, a beer, and I'll, and I'll be wanting to come back for some more steak. In Japan, I eat my really, just my really fatty little piece, and I've made the mistake, my wife is like, oh, I can't finish it, finish my steak, so I finish her steak, and I get so sick because the meat is so rich. Imagine just like drinking a cup of oil from all that fat. It's good when you're eating it, but man, it will it will make your stomach hurt. Wow, guys. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, too bad you couldn't get your butt out of bed, buddy, who was supposed to come with me today. Other good Japanese food. Uh, the bread, the bread is here. They got like these little break, like these little artists and bakeries everywhere yeah the bread is good bread is very good very cute very flaky uh just it's good it's good guys so many good things anyways this one is likely to be continued too as i as i have more food but that's what that's about what i could think of right now uh thanks for watching